All right, guys, so I already have tutorials on strength progressions for push-up and for pull-up. Today I want to talk to you about knees to elbows. Uh, in other words, would be called it skin the cat. Um, some people think that toes to bar are better for this. Um, I think that this actually helps better than toes to bars because it gets more of the shoulders involved um, and doesn't lose out on that part. So anyway, pretty much this is what it is, okay? Knees to elbows. Grabbing bar, hands about shoulder width apart, and then from here, while I'm looking forward, I bring my knees up, touch my elbows, and I come back down. Okay? Things you want to be thinking about, obviously, like when you do your pull-ups or anything like that, you want to be retracting and depressing the shoulders. Okay? So that way you're getting the shoulder stabilization inside there. So first thing you should always do, obviously, before you go and do it, is retract and depress the shoulders. And then, now you don't have to maximally do that, okay? But you should be thinking about that, especially if you're first starting this stuff out, to make sure those shoulders stay healthy. Um, usually your body will do that at some level, um, whether it's maximally pulling back or lightly pulling back. Um, now the first thing we, we find people have a hard time with is that they can't seem to get their hips to come up, so they have their hips drop back. That usually looks something like this. They get up here and then they're like, they get, their head comes back and their hips don't go anywhere. They get stuck like that, okay? Usually means that they don't know how to connect their shoulders and hips together. So the main thing we want you to work on to start out is keep your head forward and think about lifting the knees up to the shoulders as best you can. That's just the start. That's not what you're going to do the whole time. But looking forward, knees to shoulders. Here, okay, looking forward, try to bring your knees up. And eventually you're going to see that you'll get stuck there and won't be able to go any higher until you start to bring the hips up as well. So once the knees have gotten as far as they can, you're going to think about taking the bar and pulling it down to your hips or to your knees because your knees are going to be the first thing they're going to hit. So grab a hold, okay, from here look forward, knees up, then try to pull the bar to your knees. All right, and what that's going to do, it's going to make your shoulders go behind the bar a little bit and it'll allow you to bring up from there. This is pretty difficult to do, especially for uh, starting out and for kids because their shoulders aren't as strong and they don't have that connection between the two spots. Um, so first of all, what you should be doing is just trying to get yourself to pull the shoulder blades down and bring the knees up. And once you start getting that going, you can start to actually bring it up a little bit more and bring those knees up a little bit higher into that knees to elbows. Great starting move for you. And it's like half of doing a skin the cat, um, which I like to use for uh, overall mobility of the shoulders and strength. Um, so programming for you, again, think about strength, three to five of those. Um, take a long break, uh, about three minutes, and then do them again. Uh, that always goes for starting strength. And then once you get to the nitty gritty of it, you're able to go farther and farther and farther and challenge that with a lot more repetition um, or add weight. So once again, the knees to elbows is here, looking forward, shoulders, knees up to that position, and back down again, all right? This is also a crucial move for doing upstarts. An upstart for a swing would be here, okay? And then going into an upstart position, you can kick out. So a knees to elbows is a pretty important thing to learn if you want to have a better, stronger upstart swing and not have to swing like 20 or 30 times before you release into something else. Um, some progressions for this. Uh, I already showed you, bring the knees up first, shoulders up. If that's just not working, you're not strong enough to hold that yet, you can do something on the floor. It would look like this. Uh, so something you can do on the floor, find something that's fairly heavy that you're not going to tip over if you do this because that can happen quite easily. Um, once you start doing leverage based things, okay, but you're just going to find anything, a vertical pole, a couch, uh, a heavy bench or anything like that, grab a hold of it. From here, first thing you want to do is tuck the hips up to the shoulders so you're right there, okay. This just motion right here is what we want to start doing to help develop that. The second thing I want you to do to try, to try and figure out is instead of bringing the knees all the way up to start, Okay, you would actually try to push up from the floor. So you'd go here, push up from the floor of the hips, all right, and then you're gonna push hard 
into there, and then bring the knees up. Okay? So you should be able to touch toes, knees up. Touch toes, knees up. Okay? And that's from a elevated hip position, developing the shoulders. To make this even harder, put the arms straighter, okay? And roll it in from there, okay? Or from here to there. To there. All right? All the while, <sighs> trying to lift up to that position. You can squeeze the glutes too when the hips are open. That will help out uh, with just overall strength there. Uh, let's see, another progression for you. Um, I would start out with just that, really. Uh, I think that alone is going to help you out. And then just working toward the uh, progression up there. Uh, one more thing I think that'll help you is you have to hold these things for time. When you're first starting out with strength, the dynamic movement isn't going to be, um, in my opinion, as helpful to you as static strength movements. I know myself, when I was first starting to do uh, front lever work, my dynamic like lever um, row when I went from a full extension all the way um, from a straight underneath it, all the way up to the top, improved massively as I increased more of my time under tension when I was doing the uh, uh, lever progressions. So, just holding things for time. If you don't quite have that knees to elbow yet, let's try, say, try to hold this between five, 10, 15 seconds. Just try to hold, first of all, shoulders up. That'll be the first thing. Um, from there, just try to lift your knees as high as you can. 10 to 15 seconds, all right? But the biggest part about this is just figuring out that you actually can lift up and lean back to that lifted position and work on that. Knees to elbow. Uh, that's it for now, and uh, see you next time.